In forward cleaners, the incoming stock is fed to each cleaner tangentially, or roughly parallel to the wall at the point of entrance near the top of the cone. Once inside, the fluid pressure created by the cleaner supply pump is converted to rotational motion as the stock forms a vortex inside the tapered cylinder. The vortex carries the pulp fibers and other solid particles out toward the walls, where they turn and then travel downward. The decreasing cone diameter increases the velocity of the rotating stock. This creates the centrifugal force that moves the heavier, or more dense, components out towards the walls. At the bottom of the cleaner cone, these dense components are discharged to the rejects line. Meanwhile, the lighter components, including most of the pulp fibers, are less affected by the centrifugal force, and so they move inwards, toward the center of the vortex. The fibers and water in the center of the vortex travel upwards and exit through an opening at the top center of the cone.